Hello, in this video I will talk about pretty much the opposite of what was covered in the last video. Uh, the last video was about how you can discretize your numerical data into categories. And um, yeah, now I will talk about how you can um, make your data numerical. Okay, um, Pandas has a nice function for that, it's called toNumeric. And um, yeah, I will introduce you to this function now. So for that, I will first load the uh, a new data set here. Um, it's called numeric data um, and we just use the read csv function again and if we plot this if we print this here you can already see we have three columns a b and c and um, yeah column a contains this not available value and column c contains an a but if we look at the d types now we can see that a and b, uh, a and c are actually of the type object and this is because not available and an a are, op uh, are strings and um, yeah, they are not um, NaN, like true NaN values, since NaN is a float, is a NumPy float. So yeah, we want to turn this data frame into numerical values somehow. Column B already is numerical, it's a float, but columns A and B, uh, columns A and C are not numerical. And um, this can lead to some problems if we want to uh, do computations on it. For example, if we um, yeah, just use the sum on column C, it will do an integer concatenation. Since the addition of integers is defined as concatenation of, not of integers, since the um, addition of strings is defined as concatenation, we just get our uh, column, our, our rows here uh, of the column C concatenated. This is not what we want. We would like to have like the actual sum of our values here. Okay, so first, of all, you already know this S type function, and uh, for example, we can use it on the column B, which is already a float. Uh, yeah, which is already a float. And um, if we do this, this works. We can convert floats to integers without any problems. Uh, we've seen this before, and now we would like to convert our column A, which is of the type object, to a float, but this does not work. And um, yeah, it will tell us that it couldn't convert this string not available to a float. And um, yeah, this is also the reason why pandas didn't automatically assign a float to this column A, since it contains an, uh, a string. So how do we get around this? Um, we can use the toNumeric function, which I already mentioned. And to that we have to pass um, yeah, our series here. So we take the column A and pass it to, num to numeric. And then we also specify um, that it should ignore errors. So whenever there's an error, it should ignore that. And if we do this, yeah, it didn't change anything. We still have not available in here. The data type is still object. This did not work as we wanted. This is because it just ignored the error and didn't do anything about it. And since, yeah, it still can't turn this not available into a float and it just ignored uh, this, nothing changed here. So if we want to actually convert this and then not care about this not available anymore, we have to set errors to coerce. And if we do that, um, it will just replace any values that it can't to, uh, convert to, to a numerical value. Uh, it will take those values and replace them by NaN. So if we do this for column A, we see that not available, this string became NaN and the, the remaining values became floats. And the data type, uh, the type is now float64. This is what we wanted. We can also do this on column B. Column B was already a float64. So yeah, this did not change anything. We still have floats here. And we can also do this for column C. And uh, now you can see this uh, string that was in there before, it was called NA, is now NAN. And yeah, now we have the D type float64. One thing that you have to um, take care of is that uh, two numeric only works on series, so you can't apply this to data frames. But um, there still is a way to do this. Um, you, you already know the apply function. We can use this function to just apply this two numeric function to all the columns of the data frame, and by that, yeah, we can turn all the columns into numerical columns. So here's our original data frame again with our to object columns, and now we just call apply on this data frame and pass uh, this pd.toNumeric function. And we can also pass um, keyword arguments to this toNumeric function 
by just passing them to the apply function. So the apply will then internally take these keyword arguments and pass them to, to numeric. And as we already know, the errors equals coerce um, will lead to yeah, not floating point numbers being converted to NAN. All right, so then if we just look at the data types um, after we applied this to our data frame, then we only have float 64 columns now. And um, yeah, this is an easy way to uh, yeah, convert your non-numerical data frame into a numerical one, um, which is useful for when you have, for example, some, some data set which does contain these strings because um, in experiments or in whatever um, where you get your data from, it might happen that there are strings in there or that you just get your data as strings. This is also often the case if you download data from, from the internet. Uh, so if you have a program that will use um, some API and download some data from some other server, um, this data will often be in, in the string format and then it's your job to convert this to numerical data. So this is actually quite important. Okay, and just quickly to show you, um, since we now have NAN values in here, um, this npa.nan is a float, um, this is true, and this is why it's possible to have uh, yeah, float64 columns containing these NAN values.